hey guys welcome back to another video um so today is gonna be just a quick video i'm gonna be um silk pressing my hair uh i haven't had my hair silk pressed since may of 2019 so it is very well overdue long overdue um i just been noticing my ends are like drier they snappy and it's like hard to detangle my hair so it's been getting harder to detangle my hair so i just know it's time for a trim so i'm going to silk press it today I have my sister's house and I'm gonna be using her products, which are really good. And I'll show you guys a little short shower clip of me washing my hair. And I'm gonna show you guys the blow drying and then we're gonna get to the soot press. So stay tuned. Okay, so once I'm in the shower, I'm gonna show you guys the shampoo and conditioner that I used. Um, it was at my sister's house. She had the Organics Tea Tree Mint Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is really good if you need to at least clean your scalp because the tea tree and mint really came through for me when I washed my hair this time. And I'm just going to detangle with the conditioner and put it into braids and sections like you guys know that I love. And I'm going to keep that conditioner in for a couple minutes and then we're going to wash it out. I only left it in for about 15 minutes and then I went along to um, use my handy dandy scalp scrubber there, which felt really good. And then we went and rinsed that out. I showered. And I had already went ahead and blow dried the rest of my hair. I'm just going to show you guys this little one section here. Uh, since this blow dryer was really great, it really made just blow drying a breeze. This was super easy, super quick, super fast. All right, y'all. My hair is all blow dried. Um, I'm waiting for my foot iron to heat up. But I'm super excited to find out my hair to see the length. Um, but I'm really sad that I'm gonna have to cut off um, probably a good amount of my ends. Yeah. Um, we forgot the pressing comb. It's okay though. We're really a disgrace to our own kind, but we're gonna get it done today. I'm gonna post some pictures of my hair um, a couple of blow dries ago. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't blow dry it that often. So when I do, I always take pictures to keep track. Um, this is definitely a lot more length than I had before. I'm super excited guys to cut my hair. You don't even understand. I'm more excited to cut it because after I trim my hair, that's gonna be a breeze detangling my hair. It's gonna be so easy. You guys don't understand how important having good end is. This is kind of a trade-off because I'm putting heat in my hair, I'm blow-drying it and everything like that. But after I do this, my hair is going to, it's going to have a better return, you know? Uh, minor setback for a major comeback, you know? Like, yeah, my hair is going to be easier to take care of. It's going to be able to retain a little bit more moisture because my ends won't just be soaking it up and just drying all my hair out. It's going to be good. Don't worry. Don't worry. So let's get to the flat iron. So the flat iron-er of this mane of mine was my lovely sister. Shout out to her. I love her so much. Um, she just started off by doing, she did one side of my hair first and then just went to the other side. As you can see her parting off. And um, this, was, this was kind of a challenge for me. I hadn't got my hair flat ironed in a long time and the heat was just, it was just, it was just doing something to my nerves, you know. So you guys can see me here like flinching like a little baby, but it's okay. It's all right. So I know the video is time lapse, but my sister was applying this Kimmy oil before she flat ironed um, the piece of my hair. And it might look a little bit oily and shiny when she flat ironed it, but when she got done, um, and after I wrapped my hair the second day, it was super, super soft and my hair lasted for so long. Thank you. 
so at this point my hair was already done being flat ironed and she was just going back and flattening out a few more pieces that we had um needed to be flat ironed uh don't mind my niece there in the corner but uh this is my hair before the trim yes i was feeling myself And then once she started the trim, she did let me know that my ends were freaking terrible. Um, all the see-through ends, all those rough, dry ends were cut off. Alrighty, fast forward and we are done. She did an amazing job trimming my ends. My hair felt super soft, um, super, it was full of body. You know, it was just, it was just great. I had to have my hair flat ironed so long. Ago. Okay, we are finally done. She has bumped the ends, did my trim. Um, and this is how long my hair is now. Um, my natural hair anniversary is December 11th of 2017. So this year will be my four year anniversary. I'll be doing another video then. Um, just so you guys can see how long my hair has grown. And you know, over the course of four years, it'll be a natural, of course. And just some little, little turn out here. My hair is so thick, guys. And they were telling me um, when I was getting a flat iron that since I don't usually get a flat iron all the time, it's not going to retain this style very well, which is really sad. But anyways, I love it, and I'm so glad I can make this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll be posting another video soon about just some tips and tricks about how I grow my hair out. I know you guys are interested, so I'm going to give that to you, of course. But yeah, we're done for today. It's late. I'm going to go to sleep, wrap my hair. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.